Welcome back everybody, let's play Thrillville. Man, I never know where to start with these parks. Hey robot. Yeah, I said we were gonna talk to some robots, didn't we? Yeah, some robots here. Robo love, flirt with robots. Smooth flirtation. Because that worked out so well in the last game. And challenge them. Well, I'm not sure we have anything to challenge them to just yet, but see, hello, you, you two. Well, I can probably flirt with the both of you. Because you're apparently fe female. <laughs> this looks so ridiculous. Human or whatever you are. What's this have to do with flirting? How's that work? Okay. <laughs> sure. Hi. Can I help? See, these are very helpful robots. Why do we want them out of here? They're wonderful. They're very pleasant. In fact, they're kind of happy too. They have no physical needs. I guess that means they're not going to buy as much, but who cares? Plus, they have a great appreciation for thrilling things. That is exactly what we need. They will pay money. Oh, there's a noodles in the background. Why don't you just walk by? Still loves romantic comedies. See? They have great taste. Hi, noodles. See, this is a joyous thing to do, actually. Hello. Let's see if there's some other group robots to have fun with. This still I'm still not used to not having music. Oh, hey, robot. You're another robot that actually matters, apparently, so I'm not going to talk to you. Your blue trophy looks abnormally dark to me for some reason. Anyways. Hi. See, they're so cordial. See, I want to get, I want to, get to know you. Do you like seafood? No. Okay. See? Do you have pets? I want to I want to know you. Oh. Okay, well first can I crush on you before you crush me? You have a beautiful collection of colored bolts adorning your chassis? You're also really freaking tall. Look at that. Molly, oh, unless she's just short. Well, Well, I accidentally just kind of drove a lot of them out of here, I guess. Oh no! Why do we care about this? Why do we care that one of these robots suddenly care about this one? That one of the robots is being picked on by other robots. Whatever. Now we're just going to be shooting up robots and killing them. Actually, why are, we, why are we doing robot invasion? That's the one that has the robots that don't look like the robots we are talking to. Every other shoot zone has robots that look like the ones we're actually playing against here, we could actually, oh, more bribing. We could actually, like, say we're destroying the robots in the games in that case, but whatever game, your decision. So, of course, Sparkle Quest, Fios, Sparkle Sparkle, but before I get to that, because I'm sure you guys expected a lot of Sparkle anyways, let's run on over to some other area, and hopefully get the music playing again, actually. Researching everything. Uh, we haven't missed anything over here, have we? Does not look like it. Okay. In that case, metronome. Sounds very calming. Oh, God. Guys. Where am I? I'm in Oceanville. We need to have something in Oceanville so I can just kind of, like, exist here properly. Yes, let's travel somewhere else. Why? Like, okay, here we go. You see, life was good. <laughs> until just now. <laughs> Why only until just now? See, I love the, like, how animate everything in this game is. This is why it's, this is actually my favorite park in the game. I mean... Y'all, every area in the, or every park in this game has, like, really animate stuff that just looks really cool. Really colorful and whatnot, too. I mean, <laughs> the notifications are still catching up, but 
This one I just really like. I like Usagi Ville because of what it does, like I talked about last episode. I like this place. How do you even call this one? Astroville. Okay, so we actually have uh, a coaster here. How about... Well, we need to have more stuff here. For one, I need to f put down the usual hat and balloon stalls here. So, where might we want to do that? Well, I don't really want to impose on what these guys are up to, but I might have to. There's nothing over here. This is a huge space. So, let's start with this. Yeah, I'm not uh, getting rid of anything, it looks like. So, yeah, this is going to be like a little food cart area and novelties, probably. So, where all the action will be. Oh, see, now that is nice. That I can live with. And a balloon. What balloon do we have to choose from here? Actually, I probably should have done is something more like. Well, sorry, people. People were kind of using that. Let's try something more like this. Well, there's some interesting music playing here. I the fact that there's music playing at all. Oh, this one looks bad. Yeah. Well, we'll see what happens with the other... Th the other balloon that we get. Anyway, so in the future we're all... We've upgraded our water in the future, okay? We have upgraded from water to mineral water everywhere. Like, this area is so huge. Oh man, it's been so long since I've heard the sweet voice of... The radio commentator, or actually I think that I'm listening to Mortimer right now, but it doesn't matter. I'm hearing someone speak. Am I? Yeah, like, I, I can't even hear what they're saying, but there's the idle chatter that I can appreciate. Do we only have donuts and pizza? I mean... They all work. I mean, donuts are definitely going to go into Sagaville, though, because everything is going to be sweet and whatnot. Oh yeah, I already made that decision there, didn't I? Did I actually already put food there? I was annoyed that you couldn't have pop and whatnot. Yeah. Because that would be good for Sparkle Island. Oh man, do people not really care for Sparkle Island too? It's not very thrilling, it's not very skilling. A Sparkle Quest is better though, I agree. Um, anyhow. And of course, since it's just a thing that we need in life, restrooms will also be over here. Way in the back, because who needs them? To be easily accessible. Okay. Well, there's that. So you can still put something in this giant area. I don't think there's a single build zone I've ever seen in 3 of 11 until now. This is bloody huge. Oh, copyright music, you stop that. So this is the downside to having the radio playing. So we have Carnival Rides, Maximum Nausea! I'm going for the big ones. So, see, Robo Spin seems like a good thing to have here. This would be the place. It's not even that big. Like, I can just put a lot of stuff right here. What is Robo Spin like? I need to learn what this experience is. Oh man, I can't quite see without the actual feeling of like movement and like knowing where gravity is. It's really strange seeing just getting the visual aspects of these. Oh my god, well, that looks lethal. Oh my god. Okay, well there's that. Apparently, some people want that sort of thing. Have fun, robots. Maybe I'm just trying to destroy them with that thing. Um, yeah. Well, what games What games are there to put down? Do I already have... I haven't put down Shoot Zone yet. Whoops. I'm gonna need to do that. Um, so, why do I want to put something down here? I might. Yeah, this is like the robot fighting arena, apparently. So we put robot... Put things involving robots fighting.
I can, might be able to fit something else over here if I want to. Oh no! But I can't have these guys just apparently playing basketball? If I move it in the wrong place? It's strange, but okay. Where's that? Do I sell basketball? Oh no, I don't. Do I? Oh, no, I do. Never mind. Let's see, there we go. Still have the atmosphere. So I can actually, and I needed to have that there so I can finish another, whoop, nope, finish another, it's like a giant carpet. Oh, I forgot about this dude. I just wonder what this guy was talking about. Usagi Invader. Anyways, just make sure I don't miss anything I need to pick up. Anyways, now, actually, I did kind of mention earlier. Reduction. Oh, they're getting out for free. Man, I was talking about how we can actually make a profit off their appreciation for thrill stuff earlier, but no, apparently not. That's depressing. Okay, so was there anything else I wanted to actually build in terms of games? Indio Chinchilla, we can live without, I think. Uh, what, what games do we need to have? Let's get to that first. Trampoline, Alley Ball. Bandito. Oh, I need Bandito on here. I need, like, everything. Well, so what would be fitting here? I don't think this is the place for Medio Chinchilla. Actually, I don't think any place is going to be fitting for Medio Chinchilla. This is the place for, for Event Horizon, I'll say that. Isn't there already? Yeah, already built. This will not be a bad place for Sasu Sumo. Um, I need trampoline somewhere. I... Star Sniper, that would be great. So, if, it, if I want... So, I believe I need Event Horizon, it sounded like. On the horizon, yeah. So, I need Event Horizon, so this is the perfect place to put that, I think. Since this is a very future-type place. Uh, I can, I can fit. Yeah, I can fit through there. I'm kind of curious if you can just like. Uh, no, you have to have space for people to walk through. I was kind of curious if you can just uh, make it impossible for people to reach the entrance or something, but I don't think you can. I've never experimented with that sort of thing. Anyways, there's anything else I want to put here. I know I need trampolines. Space trampolines would fit pretty much anywhere, I think. They're also huge, so I don't know if I could fit them here. Oh no, of course I could. <laughs> what was I thinking? And this is just like the place to be. Everything is here, my god. How much energy do I have left here? Basically none. Do I even have any roller coasters here? I have one. It's gonna be a terrible, terrible experience trying to, uh... I am traveling lots of miles. Trying to build a roller coaster here. <laughs> There's that. Okay, so see, let's see if we can actually go to Oceanville without the world collapsing on itself. And then, well, actually, that will probably be next episode, but... Looks like for now, things are actually... I mean, we basically have things worked out here in uh, Astroville. We just need to... I was going to to build something else here. You just, the areas here for buildings are so giant. I, I could not possibly want to fill them all. I'm not sure if I could. I go and put a coaster here at some point for some purpose or another, but I'll probably be at the end of the game. Uh, at the end of this particular area. <laughs> now I have to look through my little bubble. Okay, well, I'll see you guys next time on the next episode of Let's Play Thrillville Off the Rails. Look at that. People are having fun with the trampolines. Or I probably jump into some stuff with the games or maybe with building up to see. But, oh, Teen Dream. And there's that too, I guess. What are you doing? You're like walking here alone. Yeah, are you a lonely individual? Nope, not at all. One loneliness. Well, forget you then. If y'all don't need me, I don't need you. So, we'll see you next time, next episode of Let's Play Through of Off the Rails, if we can actually enter the mystery that is Oceanville, since things don't work out last time. But we got through the Black Void here in Astroville, so let's see. Bye, guys. Robots everywhere.